like to give a very special thanks to Briar for partnering with us to make this video. What's up, y'all? A while back, we used the Briar Unicorn Paint and Play Craft Kit to make a single carousel horse. But I want the whole carousel. So today, we are going to try and make our dolls a carousel using a few more Briar Unicorn Paint and Play Craft Kits. We are also using cardboard, scrapbook paper, wooden dowels, paint, foil, scrapbook paper, and a Lazy Susan so it can spin. And if you like our videos, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below. Now let's get started. This is a 12 by 12 square of cardboard. I want to keep my carousel within the frame of this square to, you know, make it easier for scrapbook paper and so it's not so large. So let's draw a large circle. I'm not super confident in my ability to draw a perfect circle, so I went ahead and divided the square by drawing lines to find the center point. I tied string around my pencil, place it on the radius of the circle, and then draw my circle. That looks about right. Cut it out. Looks like I can fit three horses onto the circle. Sorry, unicorns. I'm going to trace a few more circles. I'm going to keep this one to the side because it has all of those nice little wedges. So we're going to put that over there and use two new ones that I cut. Cut one inch strips of cardboard. Glue the strips across one of the circles. Take a few strips of cardboard and you want to make sure the corrugated lines are going across so we can easily bend it so we can glue them around the edge. This is going to be the height of our base. Let's glue another circle on top to make the base. Let's do a little sizing here. And I don't know, I think I made it a little too small. Okay, we made a bigger one. This one has about a 15 and a half inch diameter. We made it the exact same way, just larger. Find the center point, cut three strips of cardboard that are 13 inches tall. I glued some leftover cardboard on the back to make it stronger. I cut another large circle for the ceiling. Let's trace this onto poster board to get another large circle that we can easily cut out and fold in half, then open it and fold the other direction, lining up those first creases. Repeat a few more times, going in different directions, dividing the circle into eight pieces. Cut on one of the creases to the center point so we can overlap and we can glue them together to make the top of our carousel that we will glue on the flat piece of cardboard. But first, I divide the bottom of the cardboard into sections, use acrylic paint to paint them, let it dry between coats. I'm adding a lighter pink in the other areas. And because of the size, I think it will be easier to paint the base brown rather than covering it with paper. Then I brush on a darker brown to add a little texture. Once the ceiling is dry, flip it over and glue our little cone on top. Paint it. I chose to divide each triangle in two so I could make the pattern go all the way around. I cut one inch strips from the leftover poster board to glue going around the edge. Glue gold trim around the bottom to cover those edges. We can add it to the top as well for a very pretty look, but I wanna try something a little different and way more time consuming. This is a silicone mold. This particular one was created to make costumes for cosplayers. 
You can also find them in the baking sections at craft stores. They are used for like fondant and stuff like that. I'm going to fill mine with hot glue and just carefully fill in all of the little nooks and crannies. I'm trying to be neat here. I am using a hot glue gun with a precision tip, which just means that the tip is a little pointier, so it helps me to get into those little nooks and crannies a little easier. Allow it to dry, then remove it from the mold, paint it, and allow them to dry. While waiting, I make paintings on leftover poster board. I chose to go with little nature scenes. I made four. I glue them on, evenly spaced, around the circle. Using the pattern underneath as a guide. Then we can glue on our little hot glue details. Since the hot glue is flexible, it's easy to bend it where we need it. Continue to decorate the top. Okay, that's looking pretty decent. I might have to go back and do a little touch up with the gold paint. Let's add that gold trim around the base. I've been making this for a couple of days now, and I'm gonna say this falls under extreme crafting because there are just so many little things you have to do. I painted the stripes that we cut earlier pink, then cut foil scrap of paper and glue it onto the strips. Glue the leftover trim around it. Glue the three pieces of cardboard together, making a triangular shape. I'm using bling ribbon to cover those corners. Let's add it to the ceiling as well avoiding where the centerpiece will go. Now we can glue it in place, then glue the centerpiece to the base. All right, it's starting to look like a carousel. We can add more of our hot glue decorations to the top for support. I bent it a little so it's touching the ceiling and our center support beam. And we can add a few details around the bottom because I made way too many. Measure the distance from the base to the ceiling. For me, that is 13 inches. My wooden dowels are 12 inches, so they're a little short. So I cut an inch from another wooden dowel and glue it on. Wrap it with a cotton yarn, then paint them. I'm using a mustard yellow base coat then finish with a metallic gold to make poles to glue around the edge. Now we need our Briar Unicorn Paint and Play. Look, Ma, I'm on the box. This kit, along with many others, are available at www.briarhorses.com. We'll put a link in the description box below. And did you know the back insert is a pretty decent little wall? It's an instant backdrop, in case you were wondering. I braid the unicorn's mane to keep it nice and neat, then paint it using the included paints. I'm painting this similar to how we painted the unicorn in our unicorn paint and play video. And you can check out that video for more details on how we painted it. For this horse, I added a coat of Mod Podge to the mane just to keep it neat I painted a few paper flowers to match to glue onto the hair. I've painted three unicorns and we made three more poles. Cut them so we can glue one piece underneath the unicorn and the other on top. For me, that is a two and a half inch piece and an eight and a half inch piece. First, I glue the unicorn in place then I glue the pole in place. Add a flower to cover up any sloppy gluing. And we placed one near the tail as well to finish our carousel unicorns. Let's add a few more of those hot glue details around the bottom, just because we have a few extras, to complete our carousel. And if we want to make it spin, we can place it on a Lazy Susan it may add a little more height to the carousel, but now it can turn. And the dolls can go on the carousel and merrily go around. 
Once again, we would like to give a very special thanks to Briar for partnering with us to make this video. Thank you for joining us while we made a dog carousel using Briar Unicorns. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye